What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is the Sunday 26th of May, got confirmers to go through as well as the rumors. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it's a new transfer video. And finally, in the comment section below, with the Europa League final coming up next week, who's going to win, Arsenal or Chelsea? Right then, let's jump into the very first confirmed deal of the day, and the player is going to Tech Pete. He joined Schalke from Paderborn, and it's around a 2.5 million euro fee. A player called Guirassi has joined Amiens in France from FC Cologne, and that's a 6 million euro fee for that one. And PSG's manager, Thomas Tuchel, has had his contract extended until 2021, uh, so one year contract extension from the initial one he signed, despite not getting far in the Champions League, which for PSG managers, it seems to be whether they're successful in Europe or not that decides whether they stay or not and I'm going to say only in like quotation marks here because they only won the league last year and uh, to be fair like a year ago Unai Emery lost his job because they won the league they won a domestic cup but they didn't do well in Europe and now we have a player that was linked to PSG back in January and was very close to making the move. Uh, so according to Liverpool Echo, they're saying Everton's £35 million valuation of Idrissa Gay has dampened Manchester United's interest. We are very, very early into the transfer window and United, they're getting so many new players into them every single day. Uh, there was interest there in Idrissa Gay about a year ago, um, but I'm not sure who they're going to sign because as I keep mentioning in different episodes, the, the no Champions League football, it could be a massive hindrance to signing new players, but we'll have to wait and see, uh, but I still imagine they'll be very busy. And next up, according to the Mail, they're saying Tottenham are getting ready to spend £80 million on Bournemouth's duo, uh, one being England international Callum Wilson and his Vitality Stadium teammate David Brooks. Wilson was a target for Spurs' London rivals Chelsea earlier in the season, but the striker was reluctant to sacrifice regular game time to move to Stamford Bridge. And you would imagine with Tottenham getting to the Champions League final and securing Champions League football again for next season, um, as well as having a new stadium, they spent nothing this season or last season. 18-19, they didn't, they didn't buy anyone basically in the summer or in the January window. So taking into consideration the amount they'd get from the Premier the Champions League, they're probably going to spend this summer. And fair play to Bournemouth for getting David Brooks because he came from the Championship and he was a very successful signing and a massive, massive talent. And now moving on according to Goal.com, they're saying Manchester United have submitted an opening bid for Leon striker Moussa Dembele worth more than 40 million euros. That's according to Goal.com's uh, reliable journalist, B. Quires on Twitter. Uh, Get French Football News are saying it's a 46 million euro fee and Euro United are saying 45 mil. So either way, United have put a bid in and they're just waiting on Leon now. Like, like Leon can say yes or no, or they could demand a little bit more. Goal.com are also saying that Manchester City will make a last ditch attempt to extend Leroy Sané's contract next week as they look to fend off interest from Bayern Munich. There were reports yesterday suggesting that Bayern have already made a first bid for the player and it's now up to City whether they accept it or not. And um, I think it's quite a difficult situation for them because he's a world-class talent, uh, but it seems he's fallen down the pecking order a little bit under Pep Guardiola, uh, but for Bayern, it'd be one hell of a signing. OF in France are saying Hatton Ben Arthur's advisors spent all day in Spain negotiating with Real Batiste representatives and Sevilla sporting director Monchi. The 32 year old is a free agent next month and is looking for a new club. AS in Spain are saying whether or not Real Madrid signed Christian Eriksen this summer will be dependent upon the success of Spurs pursuit of Real Batiste midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso. Lo Celso signed on a permanent basis after a successful loan spell uh, from Paris Saint-Germain. They paid around 22 million euros, but they could make a massive profit straight away. And with Christian Eriksen having a short amount of time left in his current deal, his valuation somewhat goes down a bit at Spurs because if he doesn't sign a new contract now till the end of next season, he'll be a free transfer in a year's time. And another player into Real Madrid now according to Goal.com yet again, and they're saying Real Madrid are in talks with Leon over the potential signing of left-back Furlan Mendy. That's as Zindi Zidane begins a summer overhaul of the squad. The manager has spoken with the 23-year-old about a summer move and the player himself wants to make the move to Los Blancos. 
L'Equipe are reporting that Atletico Madrid and Valencia are both interested in signing Monaco's former Manchester United and Chelsea loan striker Radamel Falcao. The 33-year-old Colombian spent two seasons at Atletico between 2011 and 2013. Monaco just avoided relegation from Ligue 1 after a very, very disappointing campaign. And uh, Radamel Falcao, I, th I think right now, is one of the few players left in that Monaco side that won the title a couple years ago. Arsenal have had an opening 7 million euro bid for 20 year old Lorient attacker Alexis Claude Maurice rejected, but they will return with an improved offer and the player is mad about joining the Gunners. FC Lorient have received offers on top of Arsenal's from West Ham United, uh, according to Euro United. And now we have got the player with potentially the biggest transfer saga of last summer because at one point is wearing another team's shirt and having interviews and the deal broke down. He won the World Cup in between it and since then has remained at Lyon as Nabil Fakir. But their club president Ula said yesterday after the final game of the season, effectively Nabil is outside of the two departures expected because we have an understanding that he can go. Thanks Nabil for bringing what he brought and we have an understanding to let him go. So judging by what he's saying there, that if Fakir wants to go this summer, he can do, and Ula won't stand in his way. There are set to be three major departures at Lyon this summer, uh, Fakir being one of them. You'd imagine Ndombele, potentially Memphis Depay, and it could even be Dembele to Manchester United. Real Madrid have tabled a bid of 90 million euros for Napoli defender Caldu Koulibaly. That's according to Corre dello Sport. PSG have also expressed an interest in bringing the Senegal international to the club, but Napoli are holding out for something much closer to the player's 150 million euro release clause. There were a couple of reports suggesting that United had a bid rejected and is definitely in demand this summer. And next up, according to Sky Sports News, they are saying Chelsea are willing to accept an offer of £130 million for star player Eden Hazard. Real Madrid are currently the favourites and probably the only destination he'll be ending up. And the Belgian wants his transfer to the Spanish capital tied up within a week of the Europa League final, but there is still plenty of haggling to be done. Madrid's current offer is still some way off Chelsea's valuation, but you'd assume at some point they may meet halfway. And we are still currently unsure whether Chelsea will be able to sign players this summer and losing their best player by some fair distance right now, it would be a massive blow for their upcoming campaign. Now, if they can sign a player, it might soften the blow a little bit. Uh, but again, like I mentioned, if they can't, it could be very bad for them. And Sari has said multiple times that he won't stand in front of Eden Hazard or get in his way about his decision. Like if he wants to go, he can go. But if he wants to stay, he's more than welcome to. And next up, according to Sky Italy, they're saying Inter Milan have reached an agreement with Edin Dzeko as a bid to take the striker to the San Siro. They'll now try to do the same with his current club Roma, with the former Manchester City forward expected to sign a two-year contract with an option of a third. Now, I'm not sure that does for the interest in Romelu Lukaku just yet. We'll have to wait and see on that point. Um, but still in the media, the link of a move also alongside Dzeko. And now, according to AS, they're saying Manchester United are in talks with Real Batiste over a move for left back Junior Firpo. The 22 year old has also drawn strong interest from Real Madrid after a very impressive campaign in La Liga, although injuries have slowed him down recently. And United are ready to pay up to 30 million euros or 26 million pounds for the Spanish under 21 international. Napoli's president Aurelio De Laurentiis, I put I say his name wrong there, he has confirmed the club will look to re-sign Fabio Quagliarella from Sampdoria this summer. The 36-year-old striker only seems to have got better with age and is currently top goal scorer in Serie A with 26 goals to his name. And next up, we've got a delict story yet again, uh, this time linking to Manchester United. So according to RAC1, they're saying delict is very close to joining Manchester United. It's not quite complete yet, but the offer he has received is said to be irresistible. United are willing to offer him a staggering amount of money and he is definitely listening. It's worth noting, however, though, for Frankie de Jong, PSG done the same, but eventually he done what everyone expected and signed for Barcelona. And that's actually a quote from Miguel Delaney. The three teams mainly linked to De Ligt right now are Barcelona, Liverpool and Manchester United and you would imagine in the next couple of weeks we'll probably find out some kind of information as to where he's going. And now we've got a short one according to Marca. They're saying Real Madrid will look to sign Virgil van Dijk from Liverpool if Sergio Ramos leaves the club this summer. 
Van Dijk right now is considered the best centre back in the world by a lot of different people and uh, obviously some people have different opinions but the whole Sergio Ramos story apparently wants to leave and whatnot uh, Spanish media are saying it's not true he's just basically trying to get a better contract but that guys is going to be it for this video so as always if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like rating press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload my previous video will be down below in the description box at current schedule every day at 8am uk time it's a new transfer upload and finally in the comment section below europa league final chelsea or arsenal who's going to win so thank you for watching this video i'll see you next time